so we gotta haul water. But in order to haul water, we need a vehicle that works. Right now we don't have a vehicle that works, so I gotta switch out this fuel pump. Got a nice adapter. It shouldn't be too bad. So we're gonna start off by taking off the power steering pump. Uh, gotta loosen these three bolts this and take off the belt and then once we do that we can remove this and then we gotta remove this plate it's like a little heat shield and then here's the fuel pump it's hitting our little flange down there so that's the project shouldn't take too uh, yeah but yeah we'll get started all right tools we're using These are 9 sixteenths, so 9 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths. I believe this is 11 sixteenths. These are 9 sixteenths bolts here. So I gotta remove all those. And the lock driver makes it really, really simple. So I like to keep these three bolts loosely attached, just so the power steering pump goes with this rocker arm. Because it, um, if you if you put this upside down, it's gonna leak. It's gonna spill oil everywhere. So yeah, I just like to. This is like a little handle, a cool little jack. This jack is. I'm not gonna use it to change the tire, but it's definitely like a nice little grip to put the rocker arm and keep the pump up right but all right next I'm gonna remove these uh, 9 16 bolts that are attached to the water pump I believe. that won't be too hard um, because I moved this out of the way I'll, I should be able to get to this and this is a an 11 16 a little beefier so with the impact driver this is a little hard to reach so I just like to use a little a little wrench, put that on there. 9 sixteenths. Um, I'm gonna have to use both hands though. So. Well, we have those 9 sixteenths bolts out up here. I don't know if you can see. One thing I like to note is the uh, this little bracket. It doesn't go into the first hole, it goes into the second one. But yeah. The weird thing about this engine is a, it, it's a 1971 Lincoln Continental block on the bottom and then it's like a 73 heads and then a 76 exhaust manifold so it's a little bit of a Frankenstein so that's why the fuel pump is a little funky we keep buying well I bought one f-250 fuel pump for a 74 and it, it kept hitting the bottom and my dad said you need to check the casting numbers and I already knew the casting numbers, and I thought, you're a genius. It's a car. It's a car engine, so I gotta adapt. So I, I like to set these aside, make sure I don't lose them, make sure they're safe. Everything's important, but yet, they're like one, two, three, four, sorry, six, nine, sixteenths bolts between these two mounting and these three on top, and then the adjuster there. So, keep track. And like I said, here mounting it is a, an 11 16 bolt, so just be gentle with this. Nice and slow. There we go. Both hands. And here's that. A little spacer. The 11 16 bolt. 
fuel pump. And I believe these are half, yeah, these are half inch nuts. Almost done already. Alright, so the next step is to plug the fuel lines. I took off the inlet fuel line first, coming from there, comes up, put the three, it's bolts, bolt in, capped it. So I'm going to do the same with the outlet line, cap it, and then I can install it. Alright, now it's time to take off the fuel pump. I just want to be gentle with it. I'm going to get an impact wrench, a half, half inch socket. I made a custom gasket for this. Hoping that would fix it. It didn't. <laughs> I gotta take all this gunk off. There's the rocker arm. And the inside. Not bad. Whoever wants a free fuel pump, hit me up. Alright, so I have to make sure this plate is nice and clean. So I'm gonna use some shop towels, some engine degreaser, and just gonna clear it all off. Might have to scrape it a little bit. Probably shouldn't use my nails, but I probably will, realistically. Okay, so we have the, the surface all cleaned off. Now we gotta add some gasket cinch to this. Cause this is gonna sit on there. It's just gonna seal everything up, get it nice and clean. And so I have this stuff here. I'm gonna wipe it all over the end of it and cap it onto the engine block. There's that. I should probably wear gloves for this. Alright, so before it dries, I just like to take the, uh, the half inch bolt and run it through the sides to make sure it fits and just really fit that gasket on properly. Right, so I let one side dry for like five minutes and now I put some of the gasket seal on the other side just to make sure it's nice and tight because I want to get between 6 to 7.5 psi consistently hopefully that I have like a shutter so hopefully this figures this fixes that so got that now I gotta install the pump but before I install the pump I need to lubricate the rocker arm and so I'm going to put a little bit of uh, 15w40 on this rocker arm just to make sure Everything goes well. And yeah, this works by this pump. Oh, no. Alright, so we got the new pump installed. Looking good. Looking good. So now I need to add a little adapter for here. That will fit onto our 3 8 line. That's pretty simple. Our handy dandy magic little bag. Five sixteenths. Five sixteenths should screw right in. Hopefully, I live too far away from town, and it works. So yeah, we'll make sure this is nice and just a little preview. I'll strip it. So yeah, this is only pushing it like six to seven point five psi. So it's not a lot of pressure. So just have that little. Nozzle. I want to clean up underneath too. Getting there. Now it's time to put it all back together. The fuel lines are reinstalled. Now I need to put this bracket back on. I'm going to start with the 916th on the ends. Remember, it's not the top ones here, here. And I can put the belt back on, and then we can adjust it, and then we can start it up. So, almost done. So now we got to put the belt back on. Broke a bolt here and broke inside. I've read about this happening a lot. The bolts breaking inside the water pump inlet, or whatever you want to call it. I just didn't think it, I didn't think it happened to me, but 
whatever I'll do with it. But yeah, I need to put the bell back on. It goes here and turns the fan here. Pull our engine down and turn our water pump off. So it doesn't go on the outside. I think it goes in the middle here. And this acts as like a counterweight, so I just gotta make sure I do it right. And then here's the adjusting bolt. And here's what holds it on. I like to pinch this backside. It's already pinching, so that's cool. So it's already going to, it's already sucked on there. It's gonna work perfect. Just gotta tighten it up and get it off the engine block. Start it up. Here's the belt. We got it on that second seater. I'm so sad about breaking that bolt, but whatever. I'm just gonna start it up and go get water. That's the plan. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll show you. This is pretty cool. 916. Going up. Going to the top. Right in that belt. Start the truck. Alright, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. So, we started up. Now we started up. Alright. Nice little pump. Go get water. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking good.